Hey there, everyone. I hope you've had some time to explore with Soundtrap this uh, over the weekend, but we're going to dive right in with a project this week. As always, if you have any questions, please leave me a class comment. I'm also going to be hosting several meetings throughout the week, and you can always check out there and ask me any questions you have about Soundtrap. So let's get right to work. So here I am in Google Classroom, and when I go to click on the link to Soundtrap for the assignment, it's going to open what I shared with you, which was the uh, project with just the vocal track recording. So you can see there's the mic part that has my vocal track in that way that you'd be able to hear me singing. Come through the All of that. It's set in G major already. The tempo is all set. The metronome is off because we don't need it on. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the loops library clicking these two purple notes right over here, and that opens up the loop library. Now, in order to make sure that you're doing your best job of fitting with this music, I'm also going to recommend that you go to, from any scale to major scale. If I take off feature, it's now going to show me all these different loop options that I have. And some are going to fit better, and some maybe not so well, but it's really easy to add these different parts. So if I play one and I like it, let's see what that sounds like. So I'm going to take it over here now, see what it sounds like with Come Through in a Hurry. Let's hear. Come through in a hurry, come through. That's not bad. I might want to keep that. If I wanted to keep it going, I could drag it out like that. Or I could leave it right where it is. Maybe I want to try something else. Here's a slightly different sounding one. Come through in a hurry. Come through in a hurry. Come through in a hurry. Alabama gal. I don't know how, how. I don't So maybe that's what I want to do. I don't know. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit and I'll come back and share with you what I came up with at the end. Okay, so here I think I have it. Let's listen to how this whole thing sounds. I've added uh, a bass part, I added a little cymbal crash at the end, I added some drum parts, some electric guitar, and let's see how this all sounds together. Come through in a hurry, come through in a hurry, come through in a hurry, Alabama gal. I don't know how, how, I don't know how, how, I don't know how, how, Alabama gal. I'll show you how, how, I'll show you how, how, I'll show you how, how, Alabama gal. Ain't I rock candy, ain't I rock candy, ain't I rock candy, Alabama gal.
So there we go. That's what it is. Now that I'm all done with it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Well, in my case, I'm going to say as. And you can do the same thing. You can actually just change the name, or you can just hit save. That would work perfectly fine. I believe if you hit save, it'll automatically save it as the assignment. And then once it's saved and set for a while, I can go to File, Export, and Export Project to MP3. But I've also attached another video in the Google Classroom assignment that shows you how to export your song and attach it in Google Classroom, which I'd appreciate if you do, so I can listen to it there as well. I hope you have fun working on this project, and I'm going to be playing around with this a little bit more. Look forward to seeing your work.